Hi guys, welcome to Norwegian Modeling Bench. This is Kenneth and this is the 16th installment on the CV6 build. Today the focus will be the Devastators, so the TBD-01. And uh, it's a bit of a shorter video because I think I've covered a lot on the others. Uh, but still I wanted to show the results here. And of course it, this got a bit out of focus, I'm sorry about that. but. You will see the end result at the end uh, as well. Uh, and of course, there are two different types here. Uh, one with wing fo wings folded and one, uh, one without the wings folded. So I hope that you enjoyed this one. Uh, like and subscribe, comment if you like. And I hope that you enjoy the video. Thank you. So I'm not covering all the, uh, the the first part. So the the fuselage had an opening in the beginning, uh, so not a big job there. Just making it a bit more open, then clamping the uh, the wing parts uh, together uh, as well. This it required some force to get it perfect. Then it's the same operation as with Dauntlesses, uh, gluing the, um, the cockpit inside in the opening before moving on with uh, the, the parts for the planes where the wing is folded. These are PE parts from the KA set. Uh, make sure that you have a bit of an angle before you glue them to the wing. Otherwise, you will uh, definitely uh, have a bit of a tough time getting uh, the, the wings in the correct angle when you glue them uh, on at the end of the build. And then adding uh, the legs for the wheels. These are again uh, resin uh, parts from KA. Very brittle, so make sure you have extra parts. Uh, there are some grooves in the back side of the wing where you will uh, add those uh, inside. And I'm using a special resin CA glue from VMS to, uh, to add these ones. Also for the wheels that you can see that I'm adding here. So uh, I'm just gluing them to the leg, making sure that it has the correct uh, angle. Uh, so it's not slanted or anything like that. Then it's the antenna on top and these ones go to the middle of uh, just before the cowling um, and then also on top of the, uh, the tail wing. Then I've uh, primed up the planes, adding uh, light gray, so same colors as the Dauntlesses and Wildcats, so scale colors. Using uh, the airbrush, of course, to get the good result before uh, I am uh, painting the inside interior green, adding uh, black and masking off the black so you get the walkways on the wings. Then applying the blue, uh, blue gray color on the entire airplane. And also, as you can see for the wings that are going to be folded, those are just cut off with a small saw and also sanded them down. So they were more or less uh, uh, perfect. Um, so I could, when I glue them on, it, it would be a good fit. After um, having um, painted uh, the, the, the fuselage, it is time to paint the, uh, the wheels with the rubber color. Uh, I'm blending uh, or thinning out the, uh, the glue, no, the, the glue, not the, pa the paint at least, uh, with some thinner so it's a bit easier to apply. Uh, and then it also adheres to some of the, the curves towards the rim on the wheel. I've also, of course, painted the, uh, the engine uh, in a metal gun color. Then it's time to add uh, the canopy 
Uh, again, these are resin uh, KA parts. Uh, I think they are really nice looking. Uh, of course, not to scale as the PE from Pontos, but, uh, but still, I, I think it gives a really good impression of, of the plane. You could, of course, use the, the, uh, the plastic uh, part, but it would definitely not give uh, the same impression as using the KID fill up set for the plane. So I can, uh, again, I can highly recommend that, uh, that set. It costs a bit, but still the end result, I think, is definitely worth it. And then for the open uh, ones, um, I'm also adding the gun at the uh, aft of the, of the plane. Then it's the decals, so using a uh, set and softener from uh, VMS, uh, applying some uh, small drop of that to the plane, uh, to the wing, sorry, then uh, using a cotton bud to uh, to soak up so the extra uh, softener and uh, also uh, placing. And then at the end, when the softener has worked a bit, I'm also tapping the, uh, the decal so it adheres to the curves of, um, of the wing itself. So it's adding these to uh, the wings, also to the wings that are cut off. And, and then you have the decals going on on the side of the fuselage. And, and this uh, set and soft, uh, softener from, uh, from VMS is really good. It definitely uh, works like a charm in terms of how easily it is to work with, uh, with the decals, how much it actually softens and, and makes the decal uh, adhere to the curves. That is uh, it's a really, a really nice product from from VMS there, and I'm definitely not sponsored. Uh, and then uh, aligning those uh, decals that are going on on the side with the uh, with the decal on the opposite side, and then using a um, a, a uh, brush soften in in the water to neutralize the softener. And then I'm adding uh, the numbers, which says eight T definitely not correct uh, that was the Hornet uh, but I, I wanted to add something and I really didn't have uh, any spare ones uh, that I could use and I don't think it will be any big issue for people watching this model anyway uh, something to talk about and we have uh, the oil wash, so again using Aptailung uh, oil uh, color and mixing that up with uh, white spirit, adding those that to the um, the panel lines and places where you want to have a bit of weathering. When that has uh, dried uh, for uh, at least an hour, I'm uh, using a uh, damp uh, cotton bud, so damp with uh, with white spirit. To, to remove excess um, excess oil wash uh, from uh, from the plane. Uh, I'm not removing ev everything because I would like uh, some of the wear and tear effect that you get from the oil wash as well. Uh, I think that uh, gives uh, a bit uh, of uh, of a kind of a used effect and. Um, uh, give something extra, at least uh, in, in this scale. Uh, it needs to be subtle, uh, otherwise it, it, it is very easy for weathering to get exaggerated. And then I'm adding a, a filter, so that's a 50-50 between uh, the blue-gray and the light-gray using used for the upper and underside, mixed with 80% thinner, so you get it like just a small mist which gives the, the plane a bit of a more faded look remembering these were out in the sun in the pacific being exposed to to the weather and the sun and then uh, of course adding the matte varnish to protect the end result and also removing the sheen from the gloss that was applied before adding the decals and then uh, when the this had dried, I uh, added the propellers. So this is the end result. I think it uh, is quite nice. So now my air group is complete. 
a total of uh, 37 planes are ready to be added to the hangar and to the flight deck. So I hope that you enjoyed. Next time there will be uh, hopefully some work on the hangar deck and uh, um, starting to, uh, to, to get some details in there. So until next time, keep safe.